Good morning, everyone. This is Joe with Ohio Woodburner, and I am excited about today's video. Has this ever been put on to a firewood channel before? I am filming uh, log hauler Jesse's building of his new log truck, and I just find this stuff fascinating. You know, you see all these trucks going up and down the road, but I've never really stopped to think, how did they get built, you know? And this is what I'm gonna be showing you. This video that you're gonna see has been filmed over a number of days. So there is some break, some choppiness in between takes, but I think uh, you'll get the understanding of what he's had to go through to get this truck put on the road and uh, get it into production for himself. So um, check this out. And then I'll see you here at the end of this video, guys. I really hope you like this. I'm sure you will. Here we go. And this is the project here with log hauler Jesse building his truck. He is installing, well, we're fitting the bunk onto his truck. And we're just going to make sure it fits. And um, there's still some uh, joints that need I guess welded and then he's got to do some painting but for right now we're just making sure that this is going to fit onto his truck. I'm going to turn this around better view. So you can see him up on the, he's using the crane off of his old truck. Uh, the transmission burn up in it but it's still able to move around the yard. So he's using his chain on this bunk. got those, um, not notches, but those um, struts that come up the side and it fits right in between it. Jesse had said when this truck, the transmission was going bad on it, that he was, he wasn't going to keep driving it until it burned up because he knew that he still needed to move it around his yard. So here he was able to use this uh, crane to help set up his new truck. But the objective though is to get this um, crane onto the new truck too. Not just the bunk, but the entire crane. All right, so Jesse, what did you just do there? Magic. Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> All right, so what are we looking at here, Jesse? My main goal was to sit it on here see how everything fits where the u-bolts will be my uprights are going to be attached to this over here which i put away that's going to sit over the cab so i have to cut these out in the back and plate everything but that other goal post will fit actually literally inside here i'll plate the back and then this and the grapple will sit there above the cabin. All right, so this is going to be set up opposite of your yellow one. The crane's going to be on the back right here. Right. Okay. The main reason is the loader I have is in a really good shape, but it's a non extendable boom and it's very long. It's 28 foot. So that's why it has to sit over the top of the cab. It's kind of set up for Michigan. That's They run trailers that are really long on the back, and that's why they have such a long grapple. So, but you're not going to pull a trailer though, are you? No, but this is what it'll look like. And that's the other reason I wanted to do it, just to see what the hell I thought up. Uh-huh. I think it looks great. I think it'll look good. Definitely looks different than it did a yeah. day ago. Does this get painted too, or you just leave it? I got to see if I go broke or <laughs> I get it ready first. So how does, um, you know, this truck's been sitting for a while. How does it, did it start up? You, you're comfortable with the mechanics of it? Yeah, pretty good. Um, I didn't have any problems with it starting up. It's just like anything, though. Once I took everything apart, like the brakes and stuff that you're looking at, they've been sitting for a while. They're pretty rusty, so that's why I replaced a lot of the drums and brakes. And mm -hmm. it's just like anything. If it sits and it's got salt from the winter, it's and, going to corrode. So like this axle... This axle and this axle, you call these 
steerable. That's Steerables? Yeah. So they can... Because if you have enough strength, you can turn them. Oh, wow. They Look turn, at that. As the front of the truck turns, you can leave these down, which saves on wear and tear on the frame. Oh, yeah. So as you drive, these stay down. Okay. And they curve with you. So I did see, like, the drag link here, I guess, yes. or the tie rods. And... So okay. That's called a steerable. If it How does, does, doesn't have that... It doesn't have the drag It'd length. be hard to go around corners. Well, you'd have to it's pick. like my other truck was non-steerables. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the reason that I got in the accident. Because I had to lift them to go around a curb. I'm with you. Where these, you don't. You can okay. leave them down, at least the majority of them. And it works with air pressure? Yeah, it's a switch in the cab. Mm -hmm. You pull the lever, and then they lift up. Wow, you learn something new every day, guys. I never knew that. And these two axles here are your drives, your drives yeah. but then you got a third, you got a, another right. one on the back, That's right? That's my fourth. It's the fourth steerable lift axle. All right. This looks like a serious truck then. All right, so Jesse, you have to take this crane off of your old truck and you're going to put it on the rear of this truck. Yes. So what all ha what all has to be taken off? I guess these is this all one piece unit? No, this is called a bulkhead. If you look here, here's your shut off. This holds all the hydraulic fluid for the whole system. So this is also like a cab protector, but it's also yes. holds yeah. hydraulic fluid. Yes. All right. This is hollow on the inside. Holds the oil. There's filters here. This goes down on the pump and then from there it goes up to the loader. So the whole concept has to be flipped. This needs to go right there. It actually came on these bunks. Yeah. And actually the, the mounts. So everything will just bolt right into that. Pretty close. Okay. So that part's still on that bulkhead. So, but the thing is, once I take the oil out of that, I can't use that loader. So once I get to that point, I need somebody else to transfer that to here. Hmm. Just like I just used the loader to put this on here to test it out. It's pretty simple. I wouldn't be able to do that mm -hmm. if that truck wasn't running. So this crane and the outriggers, this is all one unit too. Yes. So it, it's not going to be balanced though, will it? How can you pull this off and bring it over? You have to like take the take the arm off of it? You can. If you have a big enough machine, I'll probably have a traco. And what I'll do is I'll run a chain from there back down to the base. So I can put a chain off that end. That chain will hold the boom from going up, and then I'll hook onto the top and I'll set the chain in the center. And then so this, I can take it all up as one piece. And then this clamps onto your yeah. frame, then, right? Yeah, I have to un undo these. Oh, okay. So there's eight of those. You undo those. Take this tank off. It's very simple. Just giant and heavy. Yeah, it looks. <laughs> it, I'm serious. So, so I'm I'm looking at this. <laughs> I mean, this is just like just regular clamps that you would put, you know, uh, it's on anything. Just gigantic. Too yeah, everything's cold. just really big. Yeah, so you would zip these nuts off, yeah. loosen this, remove your hoses, yep. secure Take, your. This has to come off first because it's attached. So you would put this on the front of the truck. Right. Initially, once you have a machine here that can pick it up. On its own, cause, you know, once I take the hydraulic fluid away, I can't use the machine. Okay. So uh, this will be transferred over first. And then after that, depending on what machine I have, if I have a big Traco, I'll do it all as one unit. If I have don't have a big Traco, I will take the boom off, set it aside, take the grapple off, disassemble it down so it's lighter. Uh -huh. Then I can transfer the pedestal first, then the boom, then the grapple. Okay. That's all in theory. Mm -hmm. That's what I dreamt up the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> but this uh, looks to be a very robust truck. Yes, it will be. Mm -hmm. All these extra axles, uh, um, I guess, absorb abuse yes. instead of it going directly into the frame, huh? Yeah, and it, like I said, with the international thing is, Frame height on internationals are very high. Yeah. Like a normal Peterbilt, unless you pay for a heavy duty truck, would only be about eight to ten inches. All right. This is about twelve. So that helps just in general. And this was previously a tanker truck. Yes. Called brine. Brine for the the oil drillers, huh? Yeah. The well drillers. All right. Yeah. This is almost 
what it'll look like. Yeah, really. All right, so log hauler Jesse, what else? What is next? Uh, like I said, for now, I'm just seeing how it fits. I have to push this forward. This will probably be about here. This point will be here. This will be 28 feet from here to the back of that beam. Mm -hmm. and then I got to get some eye bolts made. See, like here, that's a problem. See how this eye bolt would end up? Right. I can't. That won't be able to be used. I'll have to either move it. This one here, very similar, but I do need to move it up. So that one might be able to be used. But these are the type of things you can measure as much as you want. But until you actually set it to where it fits, mm -hmm. you know, things change. All right. Uh, the pedestal of the boom back here will be up to here. So this needs trimmed. So pretty much I just did this to put the truck, put it together and uh, make some marks. Mm -hmm. And then I can pull it back off and chop it up into other pieces. So guys, isn't this cool? Who would have thought that a firewood channel is showing you guys a logging truck being uh, constructed you're all on your side though uh, log hauler jesse because we want you to get up and running yeah. and uh, get back on it but i think that this is really cool because i this is something that you don't see all the time so i'm glad to Bree, i'm glad to be able to bring this to you all right i am back at log hauler jesse's place and he is these are the bunks if you recall seeing them he has them laying on the side he's painted the bottom of them and he's also done some fabricating to where are we at here to the there was a light bar that was there he has cut that off and installed brackets because he'll be welding this um support that's going to be over top of the cab and that's where the claw will be sitting there. All right, let me turn this around. I'll get you a better. So these are the bunks for his new truck. And if you recall, the, the Mac has the bad transmission, but he is still going to be able to, he's able to run the truck and use the crane for all of the, um, for all of the installation on his truck but he'll need to get like a an excavator or some type of crane that's going to take the crane off of this truck and put it on the other one so he is just getting everything wiggled around in position so that he can pick this thing up and he's going to weld it on to that side of the bunk the paint the painting of the underside was important to him for uh, rust. You know, we live in a pretty heavy snow area of the country and they use a lot of salt. Uh, and the salt is treated with chemical and then, you know, that gets into the little cracks and crevices and then it starts uh, rusting away. All right, Jesse, so why did you burn two holes through these? Um, so when I put the, where the boom goes on the overhead, instead of drilling a hole out for a bolt, it's way easier to just, you burn this divot out. So when I put the plate behind here, I can get a good weld here. So you'll have the weld, strength weld around the edge, and then a, a weld in the center, almost like putting a bolt there without actually drilling anything. Okay. It's just a nice, simple way to... And that's force. for this thing is this is the upright right here. Yes. The part that I'm talking about where the hole will be, or like right here. So uh -huh. when I set this in place, I can tack weld there and there. All right. And that way it'll help pin it in place and then I have to plate it and do a bunch of other things. Okay. My hearing protection is that I hear ringing all the time, so I can't <laughs> hear anything anyway. Very close. So, I can 
attack that side. And I'll probably back up, get this flush, attack this side, and then I might need to check and make sure whether it's level or not. Let me see what happens. Jesse said this welder is a 1973 Lincoln. Uh, these were made in Cleveland, Ohio, guys. And he said they quit making these because they were too good. So now he is going to weld in that spot that he had just made. We are running out of daylight here. Guys, I'm going to be getting multiple days of activity here out of Log Hauler Jesse. So just bear with me with the, the way these videos come in and out. Yeah. So what's next now? We've, you've got the platform installed, but you just need to fortify it, I guess. Yeah, this is a little bit bubble gumish here. But I, have, but I have to plate this. Reinforce it back to this upright, bring this down, plate it to there. There's a bunch of welding to do. But I have the structure ready. This is the last big welding job on this thing. All right. So then, you know, we'll find out if the grapple can sit up there. Yeah, and then you have to install it on the truck. So we're getting close to putting it on the truck now, aren't we? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I couldn't put it on the truck until I got this done. So this is my last big weld part, weld job on this, uh, okay. on these bunks. So once this is ready, we can at least put it on the truck, bolt it on. I want to paint it. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to put the signature yellow somewhere on this. Thing, so. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, we'll come back again tomorrow, and we'll see how far along we're getting. All right, guys? See you tomorrow. <laughs>So what do you guys think of that? What a lot of work. I mean, <laughs> that's a lot of welding and cutting and torching to get this truck productive and get it put on the road. So I, um, I really hope that you enjoyed this and stay tuned because I'll be bringing you, um, you know, the, the progress as he gets this thing built and gets it put back together. And then I hope him out delivering logs right here to this wood yard. I want to bring all of that to you guys. All right, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and uh, hit that like button too, guys. All right, I hope that everyone has a great day.